Hello, Scorpio fam. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie, and we are checking in with your energies for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you want to check out your other uh, zodiac signs in your natal chart, feel welcome. We do those weekly. And if you want to check out your Pisces in particular, that's in your chart, we do that daily. All right. So, straight up, Scorpio, we've got attachment. So I just want to say thank you for being here, for those returning, and for our newcomers. Howdy. I look forward to connecting with you and doing what we can to support your journey. As always, I hope you're doing well. So what is happening, Scorpio? Okay. Darlings. So oh, this one wants to come out too. Okay, you got a lucky fourth one. So let's dive in and see what is happening for you, Scorpio. So you've got attachment, broken heart, victory, and the temple path. I think I'm getting a couple of different scenarios here. It's interesting because there's a lot of energy around relationships right now. Um, so if this is your story, connect on in. This is not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, and this is a general reading. Feel welcome to check out the other signs. As I said, if this does not resonate for you and we will have money and career readings uh, for you next week into the new year. But I feel like there's potentially some connection that has a form of codependency that's happening here. I don't know if it's something that you've chosen to end or someone is ending or maybe someone is not getting what they need out of a relationship and they don't know how to let it go. I feel like someone may be showing up in a re retrospect of trying to please uh, and be okay with what's happening, but it's not really, not really where you're at or what they're feeling. And so what I mean by that is I just feel like someone is very connected to a certain situation. Again, this could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be some form of, uh, dynamic. Okay. This is going to be different for everyone, but someone is just doing things to please maybe as some form of validation approval. Yeah. I'm just feeling codependent and just when I see the mask here, it's like someone trying to see who do I need to be to please, to make this okay, rather than, um, taking care of their own heart and what they actually deserve and what they actually, you know, are allowed to have. It just may not be with this connection or this job or this relationship, whatever it is for you. So Sometimes too with codependency can come across as a um, anxious attachment style. I'm not sure if you're familiar with different relationship attachment styles, but if you have someone that is anxious and is with someone that may avoid it, that can be quite a diabolical relationship, quite toxic. And I mean, look, we all have to learn and grow. You know, we all have our past experience triggers and all these things, but Somewhere along this path and way, someone has and is experience is experiencing um, some form of sadness, heartbreak. I mean, we, we see this here, okay? I think it, that heart is big, juicy, broken, and a tear coming down. So sending your love and feeling it if that's what you're experiencing. But it could be you too that maybe someone, you know, codependency for some can be like too toxic, too needy, too suffocating. So again, this is going to, could be vice versa, but whatever's happening, it's like someone is going to get out the other side feeling free. And what that freedom is, is going to be different for all of you, but it's a place where you feel like you've made it through. You've made it on the other side. We're going to find out whether this is, you know, potentially something that can be reconnected or it's something that someone's choosing to move it on. I'm feeling a massive sense of anxiety right now. So, um, whoever that is, 
it's just like, yeah, I just felt that anxiety in the center of my chest, massive tightness. Um, but wh wherever someone is moving to with this victory card and this temple path, there's something that's divinely um, being guided and led as part of some form of healing, some form of chapter in life. Um, there's some some place or somewhere that you're meant to be going that is healing, that is safe, that is supported. Um, and I think too, like that just is very like, like a retreat that is humbling to kind of rebirth and regrow wherever you're going. So let's dive in a little bit deeper and see what this is for you, Scorpio. So let's have a look at this attachment energy. Yeah. So there's some pattern here that kind of needs to be acknowledged and seen and awakened in a sense to heal. Okay. And then we've got the Ace of Voices. Share more on this wheel energy, thank you. Yeah. If this connection or whatever this attachment is to, this is something that's self-imposing. And sometimes we can't see that, that it's the way that we're thinking, our belief systems, the way we engage and acknowledge a situation sometimes can be us because we don't want to let it go because it has meaning so sometimes we find different ways to make it more meaningful thinking that's going to make things okay but there's some pattern here that I feel needs to be acknowledged to to grow to expand because with this five of inspiration that's kind of that's this is like the five of wands energy so there's something here that is not being seen on the same page, okay? Something that's not being received in the same way or the same light. And I feel like someone's trying to find a way to escape or connect into where they feel okay. Yeah, there's just, there's some form of... I'm... It's not a battle, but just not. I don't even think someone wants to be here, like in a sense of this situation. So they're trying to figure out like, where do I go? How do I make this okay? Is what I'm feeling. There's just a lot of conflicting views of how things are meant to be. But there's also some lesson here that's meant to be had, okay, for somebody. And with this Ace of Voices energy, this is also too about connecting to oneself and acknowledging what the situation is. There's definitely some new beginning here, but again, I feel like someone had to awaken to what this was and what this is. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. What's this? Uh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. So we've got the full energy and the muse of emotions. Whatever this energy is overall, I feel like there's something or someone that's taking um, a leap forward towards you, or maybe you're taking a leap forward towards somebody here, Scorpio, but it's moving to a place that you, it's like you're going to learn how to master your emotions or someone's going to learn how to master their emotions. So to bring back balance into this dynamic, but I feel like someone has to see that and acknowledge that first to be able to work on it. I think right now someone's trying to find a way to feel safe in a direction to go, but there's just so many conflicting emotions and feelings that are involved here with this attachment energy. Okay. Or someone has been kind of like left out of a situation or a relationship or a dynamic and they're not ready to let go. But wherever you're going or whoever is you know, a part of this for this situation. There's definitely newness, a new beginning, a new opportunity, a clean slate that that's occurring, but it's someone being willing to take the chance to, to receive that and acknowledge it and then take action towards it. Because I feel like someone is going to master their emotions here with this muse of emotions energy. 
and start taking charge of their, their life without allowing others to impact how they're feeling all the time. So let's see what this muse of emotions is. Thank you, spirit. Wow. And then we've got the muse of voices. Yeah, I feel like something's going to be cut out here. Like someone is done. Someone's going to cut out something. But this could also be too that you're going to see someone to gain wisdom, to gain advice, to help you or help someone here support their the difficulties that they're going through and experiencing. Uh, the full energy, thank you. Okay, we've got three here. Okay, so we've got four of inspiration, ten of inspiration, and the empress. Yeah, I feel like this, again, this is someone that needs to connect into what it is that they want, what it is that they want to call in when it comes to a certain dynamic. Whatever burdens have been felt with some form of connection here, I feel like a gateway is opening to start releasing these burdens. And if you're looking at the how, the why, like the when, this is like something that's going to be revealed to you. Um, and sometimes too, it's doing nothing in the nothing that things heal. I know that might sound a bit strange or weird, but sometimes doing nothing, giving space is what allows things to heal. So something here is telling you to connect into your intuition on what this is, to be able to relieve the burdens, to be able to relieve the pressure and the stresses that you're feeling. Because the I'm feeling the anxiety. Someone is just not seeing things is what I feel, okay, for what they actually are and is struggling with that. Let's have a look at this broken heart energy. Yeah. Someone wants a passionate new beginning here, whether this is with a person or in part of a new direction. What's this ace of inspiration? Thank you, spirit. What's this ace of inspiration? We've got the empress, the devil energy, the five of voices, the eight of voices. I feel there's someone that's just truly stepping into their own right now, taking back control, going in a direction where they feel like this Empress energy, bold, courageous, definitive about self, trusting in self, knowing that they're provided for, opportunity is available to them. It's just a different type of energy. This could be the new beginning that you're seeking or wanting to create, but then there's still this something that is holding, I'm getting bondage, that's holding tight on to you or to this situation and someone's trying to make it okay. How do I make this okay? How do I make this okay is what I'm getting. And, it, and it's like over and over and over again. How do I make this okay? How do I make this okay? And someone's really in their head about this dynamic, um, wondering how to make it okay is what I'm getting. Because there's been a lot of conflict. Um, I feel a lot around words spoken um, is just some form of toxicity. But again, someone doesn't want to let go of someone is what I'm getting here. But there's some, you know, whoever this energy is of wanting to step into this empress energy. So this is one being, like I said, creating a new life for themselves is what I feel here and going towards their wish fulfillment. Just had a couple drop. Give me a sec. Okay. Yeah. I just think whatever this dynamic is, there's something that you don't trust. And you just need to move away. You need this new beginning. There's something here that's not trusted. That's going to support this nine of emotions energy. That's going to support this new beginning that you truly seek. All right, share more, thank you, on what is ending. I think you're trying to connect into what has been, what has had, and all these things, but just, it's just, I think you're going to dismiss it, Scorpio. Like, you're just not interested. Share more on this six of emotions energy. Oh my gosh, they're all want to fall on the floor today. Okay, yeah. Someone just wants a new beginning here. 
Let's have a look more at this victory energy and what this is shifting into or towards. Yeah. If this is you, Scorpio, you are standing up for what you believe in, what is your truth and what it is that you want to work towards. I feel like you have done the battle. You have, you're tired of the burdens. You've had some form of win, but it's like you've come out on this other side of some broken heart, of some challenge in some form of situation. Something's changed, something's shifted, and it's something that you also had to accept and acknowledge what it is that you want, what life that you want to lead. But as part of this, it's like you want to connect to what your truth is, okay, is what I feel is happening here. Share more of this seven of inspiration. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And then we've got the strength card. So again, this is standing up for you, for what you want. You have your vision of what this 10 of materials energy is. So this is your happy place. This is your abundance. This is your stability. This is your sense of safety, livelihood. You know what that is for you. And I think you're not going to settle. And that's what I'm going to hear. There's no settling. You're going for the win in whatever it is that matters and has meaning to you. And I feel like you're just not going to let this toxicity, this energy get in the way of that. Yeah, you're seeking, you know, balance, justice. You're seeking truth as part of this journey. I mean, you acknowledge, there's acknowledgement here, there's heartbreak. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. But you're not going to accept bits here and bits there. You want something that's balanced, that's stable, that's secure, where someone's on the same page. With things, like I said, you're both living towards your values and what matters is what I'm getting here. All right, let's look more on what this six of materials is. Thank you, Spirit. Share more on the six of materials. Yeah. There is some form of desire for a passionate new beginning here, okay? It's like someone has some goal, some outlook of how things are meant to be. It's meant to be colorful. It's meant to be supportive. It's meant to be like freeing. Um, share more on this page of inspiration. Thank you. Yeah. I think this is you. This is how you're seen to this person, someone who's bold, courageous, knows what they want, what they're going after. Um, and there's just some form of depth with you that is really appreciated, that's really, you know, attractive, beautiful, um, whatever that is. Someone wants this new beginning with you. I just don't think that... I mean, this could be vice versa, but I just don't think you're vibing with it. It's like you you just don't feel right here. Something doesn't feel right. So the temple path. Again, this is you taking charge here with the chariot and the magician on what it is that you actually want, what it is that you desire. You're moving towards this new manifestation. And then you've got the knight of materials showing up, okay? This knight of materials is about and offer an opportunity that you've been waiting on, that you've been looking forward to, to create this new beginning for yourself. Again, I'm getting this massive burst of anxiety. Um, I don't know whose that is, but I'm feeling it. Because someone just doesn't want to move away from this connection or this opportunity, whatever it is. Um, someone doesn't want to move on. But there's a new beginning in love for someone here, okay? This could be with this connection. But it's like someone had to awaken to something. Someone had to realize something as part of this process. I'm just not feeling a desired match here for whatever this is over here. It's not a desired match to move forward anyway. Probably for what it was, when it was. Again, this could be a career, this could be a relationship, a certain dynamic, a friendship, whatever. But something is just telling me something isn't right with this connection. Yeah. But someone's definitely watching you here, Scorpio. Someone's got an eye on you. They're checking up on you, what you're doing, where you're going. Yeah, they they can't stop thinking about you is what I'm getting here. 
they're really, really in their head. But you're going for the win. You're going for this, the, the desires, the accolades, the things that matter to you. That's where you're going. Share more on this six of inspiration. Thank you. Yeah. And I feel for some of you, there's just this new opportunity in, in some connection here. A new connection is what I'm feeling for some of you. This could be your connection to self. This could be a new opportunity that you feel really connected to regarding your career and opportunities. But if some of you are seeking love or a new connection in your life, that that's coming on in and that that's victory to you after you've done your own inner work, after you've chosen your path and your journey and someone coming on that, that feels safe, that feels supported, where you feel seen and appreciated is what I feel is happening here. What's your final message for our Scorpios, please? Thank you, Spirit. Final message for Scorpio. I know this was a bit of a long one, guys. Believe in the impossible. So again, if this is for healing a dynamic, if this is like better days, whatever this is for you in believing the impossible, that things will just get better, you know, there could be absolute care in terms of this dynamic, but it's just not something that maybe that you want anymore and someone's not willing to let you go. It's like whatever you can release to be you, your true self and go after what you want is really going to support you. You may not be able to see the way forward or the way out of whatever's holding on, but there is a beautiful side coming and arriving, but there's something that you've got to grow into and learn about yourself to be really confident in that new beginning and who it is that you want to be and leading life that way, Scorpio. So I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. Stay well, stay bright. Appreciate, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps support us and grow and reach more of you. We'll catch you later. Bye now.